What's up guys, how are we all doing? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to talk to all the NPCs in Skyrim using AI and a brilliant piece of software called Mantella. Now, if you haven't seen Mantella before, you're missing out. Have a look at this. What's up with your stupid hat? Nothing is stupid about my hat, thank <laughs> you. Serves a purpose in the harsh winters of Skyrim. Well, I think your hat is really stupid. Dude. Hello, stranger. Can I help you with anything? You are uglier than a horse's arsehole. I'd give you an earful. Those seem to be the only parts you have. <laughs> oh! He's going for it. Ah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're actually this really beautiful. Cool. Lad. I'm sorry. There. Now, enough of that. Move along, but next time you think before you speak, you hear. I'm sorry. Now, I made a guide on how to do this about a year ago, but back then the process was extremely lengthy and required a lot of different background applications and installations. However, since then the developers have put in a lot of work simplifying it, and it is so easy now. So I look forward to showing you how to install Mantella for Skyrim and Skyrim VR. Have a look. So first and foremost, check the link in the description and go over to the GitHub. That's the Skyrim Mantella installation GitHub. It's gonna have everything you need right here. And we're gonna be doing the Vortex process because it's a lot easier, but you can also use Mod Organizer too. So we're going to open up Vortex once it's installed, of course, and make sure you have the most up-to-date version. That'll just make sure that everything runs smoothly. Once you've done that, log into Nexus and authorize the link between Vortex and Nexus, and that will allow you to automatically download mods from the website to your Vortex application. Now, I always recommend starting with a fresh installation that just helps with stopping conflictions between mods. Make sure you delete the game and your old mods folder. And once you've done that, reinstall it and start the game at least once. All you need to do is go into the starter menu. You don't have to actually go into the game. Once you've done that, close down the game and all the right relevant files or required files will have been created. Now, once you've closed the game down, open up Vortex and go over to the game section on the left. And from there, you're gonna select Skyrim VR and you're gonna activate that. That's gonna allow Vortex to manage the mods for Skyrim VR. Then we're gonna head right over to the Mantella GitHub and we're gonna download our first mod, bearing in mind that there are VR versions and non-VR versions. The first one we're gonna download is the Skyrim script extender. And if you have a look over here, you can see our VR version. Now, if you do have the good old games version or in the special edition version, which is flat screen, not VR, download that version. However, for our sake, we're gonna download the VR version. And we're gonna drag that onto our desktop and leave it there for the time being. Don't forget about that file. Here we can see the VR version of the address library. The one directly below it is the non-VR version. And if we click install via Vortex, because we linked our website earlier directly to Vortex, it's gonna automatically link and install. And we're gonna do that for the rest of the mods. Now, bearing in mind that from this mod list, some of the mods we actually don't need. Sky UI we definitely need, and we are going to get a different version of it because we're playing in VR. Uh, we also need SSE Creation Kit, which is going to allow the lips to synchronize with any speech made. So we're going to go over to SSE Creation Kit, we're going to go to Vortex, and it's going to automatically link and download. Once we've done that, we're gonna head back to the main page. And again, we're just gonna repeat this process for each mod from stop to bottom. We don't need the UI extensions if we are using our microphone. We only need it if we're using text input. The next mod is Sky UI. Now, if you are playing flat screen, you are going to want to download this version. If you are not using flat screen, you are using VR, you're gonna to want to search on uh, Nexus 
for the Sky UI VR version. And just like the other mods, we're gonna go into it and we're gonna click Install via Vortex. So by now we should have Skyrim Script Extender on our desktop. We should have the VR address library or the non-VR version. We should have our Sky UI or our Sky UI VR version. We should check out C++ distributables. I already have it installed, but if you don't have it, install it. And then once we've done all of that, we can go and head over to Mantella. Now, once we've clicked on Mantella, you're going to see there are a few other files we can download. They're not all necessary, but we're going to download them anyway. One of them is USS EP, the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. This is going to allow a few other mods to work. Two of them are World Encounter Hostility Fix and also the mod which basically stops people from walking up to you and talking to you and interrupting your conversations when you're halfway through a dialogue and that's called no NPC greetings. So we're gonna click on the USSEP download as well as the other two downloads. They're not necessary, but um, they're good to have. So go ahead and install those. Remember that script extender that we downloaded and left on our desktop? So we can just drag it and drop it into this drop section here and it'll automatically install it. Now guys, there is just one more non-mandatory mod, which I highly recommend, and it's called Realm of Lorcan. It's an alternative start mod, and basically it allows you to create your character and not go through the whole long intro once again. This mod is pretty useful. Um, there's two mods that you have to download. One is Realm of Lorcan, and one is the Realm of Lorcan fix. And once you've downloaded both of them, make sure they're installed. This will start you off with a good amount of kit and a spell which will always return you to the realm of Lorcan once per day um, and let you teleport to other towns. It's just an interesting little spell and I always play my playthroughs with it. Now, once we've done that, we are gonna head over to our web browser and we're gonna go to openrooter.ai and we're gonna make ourselves an account. Once we've made an account, we're going to go over to keys and we're going to create a key. Now, it is very important that you don't share this key with anyone. And that's because if you do, they'll be able to use your credits should you decide to upload credits. Now, I've created a key Now I'm going to name it Skyrim VR. And then once I've created it, I'm going to push the copy button. This is very important. So here it is. I've copied it and then I'm going to head over to Vortex and I'm going to look for my Mantella mod. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to open location or open mod. And then there's a folder here called GPT secret key. Inside that, I'm going to just paste and save. Now you must make sure no one sees that key because should you decide to pay for one of the more expensive models, um, they'll be able to use that key and use your credits. However, Mantella comes with a free model loaded. So don't worry, you don't necessarily have to pay for anything. Now we're almost there, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Steam. We're gonna find our game. We're gonna go and browse the local files. And inside there, you're gonna see the SKSE loader. We're gonna make a shortcut of that because that's how we're gonna launch the game. We're gonna drag that shortcut to our desktop and then we're gonna go over to properties. We're gonna make sure that we set it under compatibility to run as administrator. And once we've done that, that's gonna be how we launch Skyrim VR with Mantella. So guys, we are actually ready to play the game. And what we're gonna do first is run Steam VR as previously mentioned and make sure that our headset is connected to the computer and connected to Steam VR. Once that's happened, we are gonna click the shortcut on our desktop, which we made earlier, and that's gonna run the game. You're gonna see the Mantella console pop up, and you're also gonna see a web browser pop up, which is gonna allow us to control a whole load of things. Now, from top to bottom, you have the LLM service, which as default is going to be Open Router, but you can change it to Open AI, which is ChatGPT's service, or a few others. The model, which I highly recommend you change, I've changed it to Never Sleep Neuromade 20B. Um, it is a paid model, but that's okay. It's extremely cheap. It literally costs pennies for a couple hours of gameplay. And um, 
do a bit of research on that. I might make a separate video on models and good models to use, but that's the one that I've decided to choose. Um, bear in mind, the game will come loaded with a free one, so don't worry about any costs or expenses. You also have token count, which you can change. I would recommend leaving that alone until you understand a bit more about how token counts work. And you also have max sentences per response, which basically, if you ask a question to an NPC, that's the maximum amount of sentences they can use as a response. All of this stuff is really brilliant. And these are the changes that Mantella have put forward in order to simplify the process of setting up. And in the past, you had to open up a config.ini, which was a Word document full of lines, which had to be very specifically edited. Now it's all done through a UI, which I just think is brilliant and I love it. Now, once we are in game, we can set our spell. We're gonna set it to our right hand. Make sure it's the start conversation spell. We can also go to MCM, which is our mod control manager, and we can see all kinds of options under Mantella. Now, one that I do like to add is under, where is it? It's under general. And if you have a look, you can allow aggro. And what this means is if I offend an NPC and Enough, they'll attack us there's also an experimental one which is allow follow doesn't work with all npcs but you can ask some npcs to follow you it's brilliant stuff now what i can do is i can head over to an npc and use the spell on the npc so i right trigger and this guy is going to talk to me they are going to listen for what i'm saying to them they're going to start with a greeting and when they're listening that's when i have an opportunity to talk when i say something they'll then think about it it can take a couple seconds um that's normal and then they'll respond back now um it's very important that you know you should end your conversation when you're ready to leave or else if you target another npc you're going to be adding them to the current conversation um, so you have to say goodbye and you have to wait for the response safe travels always do that or else you're gonna basically be having a three-way conversation or a four-way conversation and uh, that can end up with pretty tricky results but always remember say goodbye and then you will hear safe travels safe travels so guys, that has been how to install Mantella for VR and non-VR Skyrim. I hope it's been really helpful. Please make sure you check out the link in the description for the Mantella Discord and for the Dead Pixel Gaming Discord. As well as that, there will be links to all the downloads required for this game and for this mod. If this has been helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.